Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. I had to pull my shirt up way past where it's supposed to go, but the last video, someone was like, I couldn't finish watching this because you're naked, and I'm just like, who would film a video naked? I mean, I don't wear pants, like, ever <laughs> in any of my videos, but why would I film without a shirt on? So, you know, just so you can see it, I am wearing a shirt. It's just a low low rise low cut whatever you guys know what i'm trying to say okay so um there is a new medium to deep translucent powder on the market so you know i had to hit you with a product showdown comparing it to the good old laura mercier powder so if you want to know what that powder is see how it works on my face and see how it holds up to a whole bunch of people's holy grail than just a statement so this is the Milani Make It Last Setting Powder. This retails for $11 for 3.5 grams. This comes in four shades, light to medium, medium to deep, translucent banana, and radiant. This is the shade medium to deep. Now let's see what you claim to do. Because you're worth it, invest in Make It Last setting powder for longer lasting flawless makeup. This is a high performance, ultra fine, translucent, loose powder that seals in makeup and extends wear, infused with light reflecting pigments to diffuse fine lines and imperfections for a subtle, soft focus effect. Oil absorbing formula will not strip away moisture and adds a light, sheer coverage to reduce shine day to night. Available in three shades with a matte transparent finish and one with a luminous finish. All right, now I feel like at this point, we all know everything that there is to know about the Laura Mercier powder, so I'm not gonna go over the claims of that one, but one significant thing that I need to point out about these two powders is that that retails for $38. So I will be wearing an $11 powder on this side of my face and $38 on this side. So as you can see, my face is pretty much done. Just need to throw on some setting powder, some, some highlights, maybe some blush, and we'll call it a day. Um, so this is what the Milani powder looks like. Because you know, common sense often escapes your girl. Um, it might make more sense to hold them both up at the same time now, wouldn't it? So this is the Laura powder. That's the coloring of the Laura powder. And then there is the coloring of the Milani powder. They're pretty, pretty much the same color powder. I don't think I've had happen before. All right, your girl is running late, so we're gonna call it a day there with makeup. It is 11.35, so I'll be back later so you can see how this held up and give my thoughts on these two powders. Or I guess this one powder, because you already know how I feel about Laura. But you know what I mean, like these two against each other. All right, I'm gonna just go now. All right, see you later. Okay, so I am back. It is now 6.03, and this is what my face is looking like. Now before I get into my opinion on these two powders, I seem to mention I made the mistake of using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer today, and I mentioned on Twitter that I'm in the market for a new favorite concealer, so I'm taking recommendations in the comments down below, just go ahead, you know, leave one there. But there is a long list of what not to recommend, because I'm pretty sure I've tried just about everything that there is out there, just to name a few, Maybelline Fit Me, NYX HD, Kylie Concealer, Kat Von D Locket, NARS Radiant Creamy, Tarte Shape Tape, Black Opal True Coverage. I tried a concealer by Milk. I think they only have one concealer anyway. Um, NARS Soft Matte Concealer, uh, LA Girl Colors. So none of those, please. Okay, but anything else, you know, leave in the comments down below. So there will be another concealer hunt weekend coming. I did one before, I'm gonna have to do one again. One on a concealer that hasn't launched yet. One on a concealer that is I believe still new I believe so and one where the company extended their shades so that will be coming very soon not sure just be on the lookout for that but I'm saying all of this because I used the ColourPop concealer today which wasn't a good idea because I was testing out powders and I've mentioned before that one of my biggest pet peeves with that concealer is that it creases really bad really quickly so um here it's emphasized a whole lot more and right here is emphasized a whole lot more however with that being said I think I can finally say that I have found a powder that I'm saying is a dupe, if not better, than the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in Medium Deep. And you guys know I've tried 
just about everything that there is compared to the Laura Mercier powder, the Cover FX powder, the Lancome powder. I've put just about everything up to the test against this and it was an $11 drugstore powder that has me sitting back here like, hmm, okay. I really don't think the Milani powder made that many claims. Longer lasting, seals in makeup and extends wear. Oil absorbing, will not strip away moisture, sheer coverage to reduce shine at day to night. I really feel like these are the same powders, just one is $11, the other one is $38. Um, there's no real transfer with these two powders. Um, they're both good at controlling oil if you are someone who has oily skin or combo oily skin, anything like that. Like I have, um, I've had this on for about close to seven hours and I feel like my oils are just starting to you know show through and break down the makeup that's on my face there is some creasing on both sides but like I said I am wearing a well it's natural for me to have creasing in this area right here and I chose to wear a concealer that emphasizes that even quicker so you know kudos to me but I feel like the creasing looks the same on both sides and on both sides it's not it's not horrible creasing um, what else about these two powders? I mean, they're, they're both still on my face, you know, they haven't worn off or, you know, moved from where I put them. Neither of them are a, a powder that I would use to set my under eye just because I do like a highlighted look there. And before I forget, let me just go ahead and insert that flash test here. Now, the reason why I'm going to have to say the Milani powder wins this showdown, I don't know, just looking at the flash test and looking, how, looking at how my face looks, you know, in this mirror, in my viewfinder. I just feel like the Milani side just seems like it stayed put together better than the Laura side. Even though that side doesn't look bad, I just feel like that side of my face looks better. I I mean, I, I pretty much said that they're pretty much the same powder, just, you know, a price difference, but I, I feel like the overall finish and how it held up throughout the day. I'm just digging how that side of my face looks, if we're gonna be completely honest. So I'm going to have to, I think this is the first time ever comparing any powder to a Laura Mercier Translucent Deep powder. This is the first time I'm gonna have to say that I'm giving this product showdown to the Milani Make It Last. I think I would know the name of the product. So. I'm just happy about it. The Milani Make It Last Setting Powder. So that is it for this showdown. I hope seeing these powders on my face and hearing some of my thoughts is helping your decision whether or not you can try this out for yourself. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, leave those concealer recommendations in the comments. Thank you.